Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. Okay. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But wow. I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few <laughs> boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Okay, whatever. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Yeah, we're into the Terry. forbidden forest for Booba Tubers. I hope it's worth the risk. Oh, I'm Tubers. always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a dirt. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I have some that are staying around. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising. I suppose. What is St. Mungo's? Acquiring those things. Oh! But such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was. But add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. I feel like they messed up her facial you for expressions. By. A treat to yeah. have you here. <laughs> What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? <laughs> Our corn horns. I'll fix him. A charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. 
Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Um. I'll do it. Why not? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Okay. Seems I need to find. This must be it. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacle. Revelio. That happened. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! Can't bend it! Wait, can I not? Petrificus Totalis him? See me. Revenue. I can't take his money right there with that. What could be stirring in the cellar? Whoa. Oh, Christ get lost. Stop! Can't bend it! Oh my god. Not see me get lost. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Revelio. Where is that venomous tentacular? All got like massive underground cavern for cellars. Revenue. Cellar. Hey, okay. just totalis this thing. I should return to Mr. Barnes. Hey, the didn't he leave us off that? It does show the plant there. Can't take the leaves, apparently. There we go. Go. Get out of here. Revenue. 
Alohomora. Completed that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Um, yeah. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. He gave me a pair of gloves for my next trip. All right, what do you want again? Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend, Mary. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Hamlet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble yeah. sacrifice. She noble. truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help. And I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To okay. dearly departed Mary. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you a vendor of some sort? What could I do without her? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted Biscuit. by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Hey. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll Are save you, but Biscuit. I'll kill Moon Calf oh, how kind. If only all of Wizard Kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. See that you do. do. Keep an eye out for her and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnif's Moon Calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Leave town. What is that noise? What the hell? Yeah. Killed Frosty. <laughs> okay. He's every That's leading me. Hogsmeade, here I come. 
Uh, are we already in Hogsmeade? So also. I found <laughs> Stop being an animal there. And a maggot guy. Yeah. You think you're so clever, don't you? I mean, not really. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. I'll do all right. Hey. Hello, Hamora. Which one of you is Biscuit? There, there. I'm not going to hurt. Revelio. Trying to help. Places. I got dude. Come here. I'll look after you. Revelio. single one of these moon caps. Revelio. Professor Howard. 
Velio. Shits his biscuit. Okay, biscuit. Whoops. Come here, biscuit. Yeah. All right, biscuit. Let's get Rescue back to Gaul. Biscuit the moon calf. Revelio. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiggum World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Hawk clumps. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How <laughs> wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Two bow Aiden truckles appeared in a when branch. he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Um. This one? This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I got them both. <laughs> Leave the hawk clumps to Mrs. Brottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find her to have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Should be pleased. Can bring up. I've been in this cave before. Okay. Uh, 
Oh no. Rebellion. Well, I love on Mount Crawl. Dead to me. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, oh, that's no glory. Let's do it. Either I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. Going towards letters or not? Bam. Revenue. Definitely not. Okay. Oops. Lumos. Um. Oh, hello. Get away from my doorway here. Be able to walk up and just protect against Totalis him. Revenue. Okay, just fight him. I think I'm gonna fight him.
doing pretty well. I mean, I did have to heal a couple times, but that's mostly due to my own ridiculously slow reaction times. stuck in the water but I can't save it right can I got the water there you go you're saved what the hell okay fine be in the water then Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. Again, stood your ground on my behalf during the Quidditch practice last week. I love the team all together, and now we won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Dear Serona, well, I'm not going to all oh, that one. Yep. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchens and asked Finky to be your favorite, Cream Crowdy. He was delighted to oblige. Not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that Finky. I think I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. I'm sure she will. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's- Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hall clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Yeah. I got a keg shelf. Great. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Yeah, you didn't really need to say that again. <laughs> 